We often hear from people that science is all they need, while religion is a myth and it is not backed with any proof. Today, we're going to talk about the five famous scientists who searched for the truth and ended up accepting Islam. Professor Jackie Yi Ru Ying, born in Taipei, capital of Taiwan, completed her primary education in Singapore. At 15, her family decided to move to New York, where she completed her bachelor's in engineering. Deciding to pursue her graduate studies, she enrolled in the prestigious Princeton University in New Jersey and graduated with a master's and a PhD in chemical engineering. Professor Jackie's exposure to diverse environments had sparked her curiosity in the matters of religion, and she wanted to know if there really was a divine purpose of living. While her year-long time at the Institute, Professor Jackie looked up the religion of Islam. She found the concepts simple and while reading the Holy Quran, she realized most of the scientific methods we already know today were already bestowed 1,400 years ago. Professor Jackie converted to Islam in 2001 and believes that if you truly study science, you have to believe in a creator. Next. Sir Thomas Bronton, born in Roxburgh, civil parish in southeastern Scotland, to Christian parents had quite a religious upbringing. He was interested in theology, but decided to pursue medicine for his formal education from University of Edinburgh, where his research allowed him to experiment on the use of amyl nitrite to treat angina pectoris. During Sir Bronson's time at Edinburgh, he met a few missionaries and the conversation went so well, he decided to leave Edinburgh and join them in their journeys. Traveling to Austria, Germany and even Netherlands, Sir Thomas worked as a medic while also preaching to his audience the concept of religion. His doubts on the principle of Christianity began when he questioned why the Almighty would decide to create only sinful creatures when he has the power to do anything. Sir Thomas began his search for a religion that speaks well of the God it worships and scouted hundreds of books to understand faith. His efforts led him to discover Islam and while situated in a long lost village called Ikra in India, Sir Thomas accepted Islam and changed his name to Jalaluddin Bronton. Next we have Arthur Ellison, born in Birmingham. United Kingdom pursued chemical and mechanical engineering from London University. He was appointed as a senior lecturer at Queen Mary College in London, after which he became the head of the Department of Engineering at City University, London. Professor Arthur was also passionate about parapsychology and participated in the first international conference on the medical immutability of the Quran held in Cairo and submitted a study on consciousness during sleep, referencing a Quranic verse. The findings amazed him and he went on to research more on the Holy Quran. Professor Arthur realized his vegetarian lifestyle, inhibition of alcohol and cigarettes were all in line with the Islamic lifestyle. All of this led to Professor Arthur formally saying his shahada and converting to Islam at the closing session of the conference. To everyone's surprise, he also introduced himself as Professor Abdullah Ellison, making his conversion clear. Next on the list, Dr. Itsushi Kamal Okuda, born in Japan as a professor of political systems at Keio University. Dr. Okuda had always believed there was no God and that everything divine was a myth. However, in his sixth year of college, Dr. Okuda decided to participate in an Islamic legislation lecture purely to compare it to other religious legislations. The lecture allowed Dr. Okuda an insight in Islam and made him want to know more. His efforts to research in Islam led him to a research paper that referenced an ayah from Surah Al-Hijr, translating to, and indeed, we created man from sounding clay of altar black smooth mud. It humbled Dr. Rakuda and forced him to realize that every man is created equal and no one is above or below a person. His egocentric tendencies were quite wounded and it changed him. Dr. Rakuda traveled to Aleppo, Syria to learn Arabic and it was the hot Middle Eastern city where he converted to Islam by his good-natured teachers. Next we have Dr. Maurice Bukai, born in France, was a professional doctor and a gastroenterology specialist. He was born to Christian parents and completed his graduate studies from France University in Medicine. When France was granted permission by Egypt to study on the mummy of their pharaoh, Professor Maurice Bukai, 
was appointed as the senior surgeon and scientist in charge. He questioned how Muslims kept the drowning Pharaoh's body intact and more so, how did the holy book that came down hundreds of years before the Pharaoh's death reference it so accurately? To find answers, he attended a medical conference in Saudi Arabia where he related his findings and to his surprise, one of the conferees read aloud the exact ayah from the Holy Quran. This amazed Dr. Maqis and he claimed, I have converted to Islam and believe in this Quran.